Hi, this is Jesper, and I create content for business and technology professionals who love technology and data. In this video, I will unpack data profiling, which is a fundamental building block for other data activities like data cleansing. I will explain why it is important, what it is, and how it works. Data profiling is particularly useful for the following use cases and scenarios. Data migration, which moves and transforms data between two or more systems. Data governance, which defines policies for managing data. Master data management, which creates and maintains a single, accurate and consistent view of critical data. Data warehousing and business intelligence, which analyzes data for insights. And compliance, which helps organizations protect data to comply with laws and regulations. Data profiling is about analyzing and summarizing the characteristics of a data set to understand its structure, quality, and content. Data structure profiling analyzes the structure of data, including table structure, which analyzes primary and foreign keys and relationships to other tables. It also determines table sizes and storage requirements. Column structure which analyzes column data types such as integers, strings, dates, and formats. And stored procedures, which analyzes rules and logic applied to columns. Data quality profiling analyzes quality and reliability of data, including data completeness, which detects null or missing values and their frequency and distribution. Data accuracy, which detects invalid and incorrect values. Data consistency, which detects duplicate and redundant data. And data timeliness, which analyzes the freshness and currency of data. Data content profiling analyzes the content and meaning of data, including data patterns, which analyzes patterns such as sequences, correlations, and anomalies. Data frequency, which analyzes the distribution of values in columns. Data relationships, which analyzes relationships between different data elements and columns. And data summarization, which calculates statistics and identifies trends and seasonalities. The data profiling process defines the optimal sequence of applying profiling of data structure, quality, and content. The first step is to collect data, which includes identifying data sources, ensuring permissions and access to data, setting up a data staging area, and extracting the data. The second step is to understand the data structure, including data volumes and growth projections. The third step is data exploration, which identifies which data in a data set is most important, for example, demographic data or sales data. It also includes statistical analysis, including data distribution, counts and frequencies and measures of central tendencies and spreads. Step four is data quality analysis, which involves analyzing data for accuracy, completeness, consistency and reliability. It also includes defining data quality metrics. Step 5 analyzes the data content, including patterns, trends and correlations, including data ranges and constraints. And Step 6 documents findings into data profiling report and a data structure report. I have included templates for both in the video description. I hope you have enjoyed this video on data profiling. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care till then.